Hey guys, I'm Kuji here with InMotion's newest wheel, the V10F. Full disclosure, last year I worked with 9bot for a few months. You may have seen me already. And just for the record, this is not a paid endorsement. Went on Taobao, bought it for 9,500 quad, which comes about $1,600. The truth about the way we tied and loosens up, I'm sorry. Be cool, go on and fake it. We still know we will break it. We make the same mistakes we always made and all let's face it. So how does the InMotion V10 stack up against the 9Bot Z10 and Gotway Tesla? Without a doubt, the most talked about thing are the new pedals. The bigger, taller, more rubber. The way it rolls over bumps like speed bumps is really easy. One thing I must say is it's really comfortable. But the rubber, uh, they don't grip as well as sandpaper. It is pretty quick to accelerate, but it's not as fast as the V8 or the Tesla. You know, you punch it. Ah! Oh yeah, it asked me to get off the vehicle. Pedals are tilted, and it doesn't actually go back down until you reset it. All right, let's see how fast I can get this thing to 40. Go! So if I want to stop, it's not bad. But then there's one feature I would say that the, the V10 has over other wheels that I have. It's the turning. The turning is just so smooth like butter. I don't even need to worry about scraping. I can scrape if I want to. If I try, it's, I can scrape. See? Wait, hold on. There you go, I can scrape. I thought the V10 was gonna be super slim, but it feels just like the V8. Just like, makes contact at just the right spots. I feel like I have complete control of it when I ride. It just makes me wanna go outside. It's important to wear a safety gear. I always wear a full face helmet and wrist guards. So as you're cruising along, like there's many obstacles, there's other things going on. It's impossible to be 100% aware of everything. If I unexpectedly hit a bump, the V10 is so stable that it can handle going over bumps better than any other wheel that I've ever had. Now with the top speed of about 40 kilometers an hour, I'm pretty much always cruising at the top speed. Now as the battery drops below 60%, it becomes increasingly easy to trigger that alarm. A little attempt to try to accelerate when we're hitting a bump. There's no way of disabling the alarm. This is a total fun killer. Over the front speaker. Over the rear speaker. Even though the trolley handle is not my favorite, it does the job. There's a spin kill button underneath the main handle, so when you pick it up, it doesn't spin. You're probably going to avoid wanting to carry it, since it does weigh 24 kilograms. The wheel can also balance on its side, but it's pretty easy to knock over. I got a headlight. It's not as bright as you thought it would be. And on the back, they added a brake light. The charger is still 150 watts. It takes up to eight hours to recharge. So InMotion has put out yet another super practical wheel. With the slim body and the large pedals, it is really comfortable, really is stable. The acceleration does feel sluggish like an 18 inch wheel. This thing is an ideal casual commuter wheel, but it can show you its wild side on the mountain. If you guys really enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks.